proper part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how I came up with the idea of how to put my Sardon, or Pi, cosplay together. And how I arranged everything and got my prices together and where I got the things from. So here we go. What I usually like to do is make a mind map. Or when I say mind map, it can be like, you know, the mind map where you have the words and it spreads out. But sometimes when I say that, what I mean is like collage, really, of pictures. So this isn't a full one because when I usually do this, I do a full one. But this one I didn't need too much to do with. So I've gone to Google and on my own paint on my laptop, I have taken a few photos to give me ideas or looks of him. Say like his face shape, his eyes, the colour of his hair, his, um, his shirt and the things he wears, how long his ears are. Then for example, like here, oh sorry, there, you see like not just how long he is, I'm trying to explain like the shoes his little band things, how long the trousers are, are they poofy, are they not poofy, how everything sits on him, if that makes sense. And the same with that side, and then down there kind of showing like another view of him. You guys probably can't see it that well, and I probably won't show the whole thing, but basically what I did is I drew a very quick sketch of him. Um, of course, not proper. But what I did is, I've, I mean, I know what the colours are, but I put them on anyway. Also, my thing is I have slight colour blindness, so I need help sometimes. And um, basically writing down ideas that I had for this, because unfortunately I am really terrible at sewing and making clothes. So if I want to make some, sometimes I can do a tiny bit of sewing and that be that. But sometimes I can't. So I've decided to buy pieces for this outfit. Pieces that I can put together that I think will go with it, that I like and I'm comfortable with them, pieces that I might be able to sew and do myself, like the sewing amount that I can do at the minute. But yeah, these are just ideas that I had. Shirt like a turtleneck, but slim, so say like a tight shirt, but of course with a bit of a turtleneck if I can. Eventually I did come up with other ideas of this. I said baggy trousers because if you looked on the pictures I showed earlier, I mean it may be different to you, but in my head he's got kind of jasmine trousers from... Aladdin. <laughs> I know it's probably a terrible thing to compare it to, but those are the kind of trousers it makes me think of. So I want to get some baggy at the bottom and a bit baggy at the top, but not too over the top. So yeah. Oh yeah, and blue rims. When I said that, I'm probably saying the wrong thing, but you know, the things around his waist and that. I've got an idea of how I'm putting this together. I probably might need a bit of help from friends or who knows, maybe even family, but I've mainly got this down. So originally when I wanted to start finding things. First what I did is I looked around town, then I also came online to find things, because in some parts of town I found things, some parts in town I didn't. I thought I'd also check online, say like for example black shirt. He has a black shirt that has a, um, well it's like in the photos, it showed he had, it's kind of square at the um, chest part, a bit like this one, but more square at the sides. Whilst this also looks a bit more round around the chest, if you get what I mean. But I'll type in easy things like black square shirt, but of course when you see these, they're either not black shirts or they're just black shirts without the front. Or I'd type in black shirt with square front, although I think I just said that, I apologise. Or I'd type in things like black baggy trousers or I'd get like suggestions from other people. Some, they didn't come up when I typed in the proper names when I could remember them at the minute. My head's just in the clouds, so I can't. So I started typing in basic things, and then I found them. Um, this isn't any of the stuff that I have looked at or ordered for my costume. But I could either order things from China, and there would either be a lot of money or less money, but it would be a long wait. Now, I've got until November to get the stuff I needed sorted out for, the com for a Comic Con I'm going to. However, I did kind of want it to be here sooner, so I've got an idea of everything. Also, I don't want to spend silly amounts or commission someone to do it, because this is a cosplay I probably only wear now and then. However, you know when you wear it cosplay, sometimes you think you're not going to like it that much, and then boom, you love it. Now, when it comes to the hair, I always thought his hair was grey, and then I try. what I also do is I look at the descriptions of outfits. And when I looked at the description, sometimes it said purple, sometimes it said grey, then sometimes it said grey-purple. 
um, I asked a, fruit, a few friends what they thought, and they said it looks more like a purple, and someone was saying, yeah, it is a grey purple. I couldn't decide on a colour, but I have got this one for now. And ho it is purple, and I can see it's purple from this picture. These two pictures, my eyes kind of go funny. But this picture, I can see it's purple. I'm not too sure about it. But as you can see, for the price I've brought it for, it's not too bad. So, that I'm happy about. It's going to take a while... Not a silly long time, but quite a bit to arrive because of things. I've had to talk to the seller about it, and the seller was very nice to me. Um, but I mean, as much as I'm iffy about this, we're gonna, if it arrives and I don't like the colour with the outfit, or I don't like it at all, I can. I haven't lost a lot of money, to be honest, as you can see. But at the same time, I'm sure I could use it for something else. I mean, I'm not on a budget budget, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on this stuff. But I'm just showing you guys, again, how I put things together and how much the things costed for me. These are the trousers I brought. I brought the black ones. As you can see, again, not a lot of money. Free postage, four ninety nine. What I love about these is, of course, not just that it's black. It kind of annoys me that, as you can see, there's a bit of a lining around it, but nothing's going to be perfect. I'm quite happy because when I went out to go shopping, I found things like this, but they had a... Um, you know, those bows in the middle of them to tighten them, but I didn't want anything with a bow. So, I'm quite happy with this one, and it was pretty good for the price, in my own opinion. Originally, my plan was to get a turtleneck top to do this, but then I thought, how am I going to do the, um, I'm not sure what you call them, but you know, like those elastic things on his arms, like the Mimi's have, but longer. And then I thought, you know what, if I get something like this, the bodysuit, it might work, because then I can... I might be able to cut the arms off without destroying it and make it into that. Again, this isn't too bad for the price. Free shipping, $5.99. Fast and free, pretty awesome. And I'm quite happy with the colour and hoping it would be the right colour when it arrived. Most of the stuff I've tried to get locally, and when I say that I mean from the UK where I am. If I need to buy, if I want to buy abroad I will, but yeah, this is me at the minute. And... Um, before I brought these, I put them aside to see what it might look like together. With the top, as you can see, I had thought about buying this top and cutting it. I wasn't too keen on the sides. Eventually, I didn't buy this top, but I just put it together to see what it would look like. And with this little picture I found on Google, I hope you can see what I'm saying about his outfit. I wanted also to get a shirt that was kind of poofy. I haven't got a shirt that's poofy for him, but I can make it poofy. And, oh, that's the word I'm going to use. And you can see what I'm saying about the arms of what he wears and his trousers being baggy. And his hair. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just... My eyes can't tell what colour that is properly, whether it's purple, blue or grey. It's very mixed up to me. Although, you may have a bunch of you that completely understand what I'm going on with here. <laughs> also, this was a little thing I put together. I did, I got the pictures again. And then what I did is basically see, for example, like how long the thing on his arm is. And as you saw, as I said earlier, the shirt, I originally had an idea. And then I came up with this. I did sometimes find like shirts like this or shirts that actually were square. But it sounds weird, the shirts with the square part at the front, like what Sardon's got, sorry about the blur there, they cost a lot of money, and don't get me wrong, I don't mind it, but I didn't want to be spending a lot, and plus, I do kind of find it kind of fun to try and make my own stuff and put my own things together. Now the question is, has everything arrived? No, not everything has arrived, but this is what I have so far. Oh, you didn't see what was there? I'm sure you knew what was there. We'll put it on my mannequin. Ta-da! Of course the trousers, but I can't put that on my mannequin. So, also, as you can now see, there... Oh gosh. <laughs> there is a top on my mannequin. Where did I get this from? Not eBay, not anywhere online. And no, I didn't buy it brand new. I know a lot of people dislike it or call it uncool, but I got it from the charity shop. And to be honest... There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, just because, again, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, but some people are good with it, some people aren't. I know everybody has their reasons, and if you don't like it, it's fine. And if you do, it's it's good, and it's helpful, and it saves a lot of things. 
the site with the cosplay because I wasn't sure if my idea was going to work or not. I brought it second hand. What I've done is I have I had the idea of getting a black shirt. Like I said to you guys, I wanted something square here. I mean, more of a square shape than a, a round shape. And to have the square shape, it costs a lot. Or from the only ones that I could find. So what I've done is I've gone to a charity shop. Brought one that's actually a bit bigger than I am. My plan is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to attempt to sew it like that and see if I can get it to stay like that. So I've got the square sides. Then my other idea is... I'm gonna get some elastic, I think it is. I could be saying the wrong thing. And I'm gonna roll this up. And then I'm going to put, sew it inside, I think it is. Attempt to put elastic around it, or I might get a bit of help with that because I'm new to that stuff. Or whatever it's called. I'm sorry if I'm saying the wrong word, but you probably know what I mean. And then it's kind of, well, it gives it that puffiness that it had in its baggy. And it doesn't completely stick out of the side, but it sticks out a bit like it showed on the picture I showed earlier. Whilst this is still smooth. That's my idea. And then I've just got to do, after I finish that, add some ribbon or something around here. I'm not sure what, whether to sew it in or use glue, but I first sew it in and I'm going to be messy. So I'm going to see if I can get some advice on that. And then add everything else and see what I can do with the, um, the ribbony parts that flow from the back. I still need to get that sorted. <laughs> Woo, kind of back, gonna attempt to sew this now. I've got my sewing box. I've also got loads, well, I say it's my sewing box, it's actually my mum's sewing box, but I'm going to borrow it. And this is my sewing stuff, because I don't have my own sewing box, and I need to get one, I have so much loose in here, because it all just falls apart. Or I keep them in their boxes and then some people in my house, like family members, go and they go, oh, that's trash, you need to bin it. And I'm just keeping it organised in the box. But I completely understand that, you know what I mean? But then again, it gives me more space, but you hear that? I've got so much loose. Um, wait, did I get it out? I've got so much stuff in here. So many bells. Just check I've definitely not got my own um, needle. Oh, I could use that. Just in case. Yeah, I think I've got everything in here. Let's try this. Just in case, again, I didn't say, I'm going to try and do this. Got my sewing things out. Not quite mine, but I'm borrowing it. Bag full of stuff is mine. And I've got my, I believe this is black. I'm not, yeah, I'm sure it's black. Um, ribbon. And I'm not using scissors, scissors, I'm just using nail scissors for these, because, yeah. So let's try this and hope I don't lose anything. Um, okay, so my plan. My plan, try and do it like that. I'm going to try not to get in your way so you can see it. I was going to do that, and I was thinking of maybe sewing it to the side. But that might look a bit weird. Let's a bunch up like that, maybe. Okay, I'm going to stop this for a minute, get my stuff ready, and then we'll talk. <laughs> 